Okay, we're all here. Thank you. New Work Development Department and Hal Round. It's five o'clock. It's Monday, which means, oh, which means it's time for watch more. Oh, I get to admit people. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm Susan Lloyd Parks. This is Watch Me Work. We've been doing this show um, for about 14, 15 years. We started in the lobby of the public theater, if you can believe it. And every time they had to run the ice machine, we had to watch them work while we, we took a pause. Um, but uh, when COVID came and the lockdown happened, we moved on to Zoom. Where for a while, we did it five days a week. And then we went back to just doing it one day a week. And that's where we are now. We are so grateful to the public theater, especially now the New Work Development Department. They'll say hi in a minute and howl around. We also love how Ron has been supporting us all this while um, as we get older and wiser and better and cooler and hipper and all the good things. So, um, yeah, so what we do usually is we, we we work for 20 minutes. I'm looking around for my time. We work for 20 minutes and then we uh, I take questions, your questions about your work and your creative process. It's all about you for the next hour. Um, and so if you would like to get in touch and ask me a question about your work and your creative process, please, New Work Development Department, introduce yourselves and tell us how to get in touch, please. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So we just wanted to introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Amritha. I'm Zoe. And this is the newest member of our team. Hi, I'm Hannah. And Zoe will take us through uh, what you can do if you have a question. Yes, welcome everyone to another lovely session of Watch Me Work. So excited to have you. So as you all may probably already know, after 20 minutes of a work session where we will all work on our own things, we will have some um, opportunity to have questions. And when that time comes, please go ahead and use the raise your hand function at the bottom screen of your Zoom. And so that we can get a nice cue going and then we'll call on your name and ask you to unmute. And that's how we'll go down the list of questions. Fantastic, fantastic. A couple, couple of other things. Um, I forgot to say, while we have lots of time to talk with you about your work and your creative process, we don't have the time you actually read or present your work or show your watercolors or show us your architectural designs, anything like that. But we'd love to talk about process because that's something we can all, regardless of our, our what we're working on, you know, what stage we're at, we can all kind of have a buy-in, not a buy-in, it's free. We can all have an entry point to it. Uh, that's number, that's one thing. And then suddenly I brought a prop, you know, it's, it's, a uh, it's this. So I, I just could, this bell, I went to my mom's house recently, and uh, that was my grandmother's bell. She was a, a school teacher. So I'm just ringing that today because, you know, it's fun. Here we go. We're back with this timer. We got 20 minutes. Boom.
Okay. Sounds like 20 minutes to me. We will now take uh, questions about your work and your creative process. Anybody got anything? Yeah, and just a friendly reminder to please use the raise your hand function to ask your question and we'll get a nice cue going. Thank you, Zoe, for keeping us together. And I'm with it too, keeping us together. <laughs> Lisa, please go ahead and unmute, unmute yourself. Hey, Lisa. Hey, how are you? I'm well. Good to see you. Good. Well, once again, you said something in the last session that I've been thinking about all week. Uh-oh. Yeah. So I want to ask you about it. Um, and, and it was just a casual mention, but I'm wondering about this. Um, you said that you work on several projects at the same time. Um, which is something that I like to do as well, um, both from a creative point of view and also a logistical point of view, mm -hmm. um, because there are some deadlines and some not. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm very curious. I'm wondering if there's some more organized way of jumping from project to project than what I'm doing, um, which is mostly just like, okay, is there a deadline? Yes or no? Okay, what seems most interesting today? Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just wondering if there's, and I know you're a, you know, you've mentioned several times about the 20 minute structure and everything, but I'm wondering if that's the best thing to do in this case. The, the 20 minutes, well, the 20 minute structure. Yeah. Thanks, Lisa. That's a great question. Um, I, I may be remembering, remembering incorrectly. The 20 minute structure is something it's like what you can try when other things just are 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 not as effective. So I'm not suggesting that you spend 20 minutes working on every little thing in, you know, I'm suggesting that when you have a, it's difficult and you can't find any kind of way, not you, but one, we can't find any way to sit down with it at all that we try to sit down with it for 20 minutes or 10 or five or one minute. So that's where the 20 minute thing kind of comes in. Um, so you, when you, you have many wonderful projects that you're, you're interested in working on and you look at them every morning, you get up and you say to yourself, what looks most interesting? How do you, that's how you make the choice? Yeah, I kind of do. Um, I kind of, you know, sit down and say, okay, who's, who's sort of jumping up and down right now? Unless, unless there's a deadline, of course. And then that obviously, you know. But sometimes I, I feel like it's it's a little too easy to keep pushing like the harder stuff to the back of the queue. Right, 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 right. And it's easier to do the stuff where it's like, oh, OK, well, I'll just research 18th century Revolutionary War America for a while. Wow. That sounds like fun. Um, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, there, you know, there, there are days when you do want to do what's, you know, the easier thing and the pleasant thing. You know what I mean? Um, there, there are days when you, you do deserve a treat, you know? So you don't always have to be like, oh my God, I'm going to do the hardest thing all the time. But if you do, and maybe you do, maybe you don't find yourself not getting to those things that are on the back burner. That is a funny shadow. Um, you know, you're not getting to the things that are on the back burner. You consistently um, push them back so much that maybe you miss a deadline. It doesn't sound like you do though. Are you missing deadlines? No, no I don't miss deadlines. I, I, I think you can, you're, you're free, my sister. You can work on what you want. If Lisa, if you're not missing deadlines, right? Then if you want to wake up in the morning and do research on fill in the blank, because it gives you joy, then you're allowed to do that. If you're not missing a deadline, then it doesn't, does it really matter what you work on? Uh, other than the, sometimes I think it takes a little discipline to, well, we've already talked about the rewriting versus the generative aspects of writing, mm -hmm. you know, how, how easy it is to, I mean, I find the rewrites to be more challenging than just making up stuff. So, you know, other than that, um, which is like, oh, I should really rewrite that. Yeah, I should go back and incorporate those notes. But it's easy to get shiny objected. 
Yeah, but if if you're getting shiny objected along the way and you're making a deadline, you said when I said, Oh, maybe you missed deadlines, you're like, I don't miss deadlines. I'm like, ooh, okay, okay. If you don't miss deadlines, then it doesn't matter. You know, if I mean maybe we watch the Olympics, you know, if you're running in the wrong direction and still come in for the wrong direction and still come in first. You, who am I to blow against the wind? My sister, you, you good. You're doing great. You're doing great. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be excited about your process because it's your process. You, you know, you, and we all know this, you know, Lisa, you don't have to work like SLP works. SLP isn't going to work like Lou lurks, or Lou, or Lou lurks. I'm sorry. Lou works and like crystal works or we're all working to, to suit what's going on for us with our other responsibilities and, and, and our, our temperaments and our workloads and all that. It sounds like you're doing great. If you want me to be mad at you and tell you you're doing it wrong, I can do that, <laughs> but I'm not going to. No, that's okay. I can do that all by myself. That's yeah, all. Yeah. It sounds like you're doing wonderfully well. I mean, the fact that some, you know, that maybe you're just the kind of person who has to get closer to the deadline to feel the heat. And then you say, okay, I'm going to put in those notes today. And then you, you're going and suddenly that project becomes the shiny object because it's on fire. Mm-hmm. It's great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Congratulations. I'm, I'm proud of you for, you know, making your deadlines. That's amazing. That's an amazing skill. Please thank share you. it with all of us. Look, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you, sis. Thank you, Lisa. Um, Jed, you can unmute yourself. Uh, hi. Hey, Jed. Um, I don't know if you'll remember me. I was your guest to the Tonys in 2002. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Jed. Yeah. Hi. Been, oh, you bitch, hi. Listen. I've been lovely. Thank you. Um, the reason I'm here is I am working on a new play. Um, typically, I've written creatively um but original and this piece that i am writing about explores the mentoring of artists during the aids crisis in particular it leads up to the stop the church protest at saint patrick's cathedral wow okay my question is this two of the subjects that i am including in this piece are still living and I am incorporating concepts of their work mm-hmm. into a dialogue about mentorship and community and social right. support, mm-hmm. while also telling a story about resting control of a narrative. Right. So my question is, what is my obligation to living subject matter? I find myself asking permission when I think I know instinctively I shouldn't be asking permission, but I want to be authentic and responsible. Um, what's your take on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, L- yeah living, it's interesting you call them subject matter. I, I, I know what you mean, and I just reuse a different word, like people. Living people. Living the, li- people? the living living people, right? Who you care about, who mm-hmm. you you have uh, interest in perhaps a lot of respect for you know and you want to you want to i mean you don't want to be um you don't want to necessarily tell it exactly as they would because you're creating a work of fiction right mm-hmm. so, it, so you're using their some of their life experiences to inform what you're writing is that correct uh yes I, there is plenty of existing documentary material about the actions of these individuals, but I am more interested in what led up right. and the the creativity that was forged under that extremely pressurized uh, right. time, right. both politically and artistically. So, you know, how the, um, what is that? Uh, is it hell? The gate, you know, abandon all hope all you who enter here, you know, there's that sign that above hell or something. Is it, is that correct? Someone's nodding. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, great. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of a sign above a door. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you could write yourself a sign that says exactly what you said. You know, I am writing this piece. It's informed by the lives of people who some are living, some have passed on. I have a lot of respect for them. And it is informed by their lives and not a biography. You can write that sign above your door. Right. Instead of the poet's license that some of us carried around in our pockets or wallets or socks. You know what I mean? You can write mm -hmm. yourself a spot, make yourself a sign because I, I, I think you're coming to it with respect. I think you're coming to the project with integrity and love, you know, and I think you just need to remind yourself that, that you're good. And I think you need to maybe it, when you talk with the piece uh, about the piece with people, you can offer that as as a, their way in you know what i mean so they say mm -hmm. oh he didn't say or she didn't say that on the third of august and that's right august. yeah said, it's yeah. that uh yeah. the minutia that i want yes. to avoid it's yeah. the ideas and yes. Yes. um the sensibility that was visited on this time yes part of me also feels like because i lived in this place at this time and had many of those experiences that I should be telling my own story. Um, but I'm not sure that I can deliver it in, in the easy way that here is all this digested material. Uh, and I'm not sure that the story I have to tell is as relevant as these right, because right. we're highly influential. Um, and, and your story a couple of things. I love the word you because I'm never really sure what it exactly means. Um, Jeb, I mean, there are a couple of things. If we use it in the traditional way, you, like you, okay? Your story might be just behind the story you're telling. So you might tell this story as a way to then reveal a way to tell the, your story in the traditional sense of your story. And in the more, in the broadest sense of you, you know, this is your story, Jeb. Jed, this is your story. You understand? So, Even if I'm telling it from someone else's point of view? Um, it, it, that, and that's what I'm saying. It, 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 depends, it depends on your worldview and how you see yourself. You know, a lot of people tell to ask me, how can you write that? That doesn't look like you to me. You know, and I'm like, well, it looks like me to me. Because you don't, you're defining me in a very limited way traditional way and I define myself in a very different way so um if you feel it and if you're coming to it with authenticity and love it's you know part of your story every story that connects with you and you feel compelled to sing is I think is part of your story that's why you're singing it <laughs> okay well I am called so, to tell this story thank you're you called to tell the story sure so, and 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 you you may have very uh, you may have other ways to tell it once you tell this way then maybe there's another way that's a little closer to home as they say you know um hmm. but you have the you have the 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 the, you know, the right i suppose uh the right the the license yeah make hmm. yourself a sign you know okay it sounds like you're I totally appreciate that. You back. yeah thank you what a great thank question you. Thank you, Jed. Are there any other questions? Anyone who wants to raise their hand? Chris, Crystal, please unmute yourself. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? <sighs> My baby's in college now, so. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. It's been a little bit emotional. Congratulations. So, Where are they going? Are they far away or? Um, my daughter's in uh, uh, Howard in, in DC. We've heard of Howard. Yeah, we've <laughs> just heard of it. <laughs> so she's, she's, uh, she is, she's doing great, but I'm missing her a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then my son is going to be a senior, so I have to do it all over again oh my with goodness. him. So, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, but um, I had a question. You know, I feel like this, you know, my Zeph and Violet play will never leave me, you yes. know? The one about the Hasidic Jew and, 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 uh huh. So I am, I, 
I'm still like pitching it to people like different places and mm -hmm. submitting it to different places and I have a reading of it on zoom and um, you know and I feel like it's still it's somewhat in cement but I'm wondering if I if I have to as especially as I'm adjust um, adapting it to a film mm -hmm. I started writing a scene like with them um, in the kitchen mm -hmm. and um, it's 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 been hard because I feel like I don't um, hear their voices. I, I feel like I may have said this before, but like I don't hear their voices in the way I did when I first started writing this. And we all know like it was a journey to write this play, but like um, hearing them, you know, and it's and it's it was a, a long time ago. So, I you know, I'm done all of those drafts and now it's like, OK, taking it on again and trying to find the same voices, even though I'm kind of I've I've evolved and so much has changed and hearing them in that time and um, has been hard. And I know I probably shouldn't be as um, concerned about this, but like even like um, the humor, the humor um, of the of both characters, just it doesn't it doesn't ping the same way um, from what I was writing. And I was just wondering what I could do to I guess here to to get tap back into that world again, um, mm -hmm. even though it's been a a long long time. When did you start writing Zeph and Violet? When did you start writing? I can't remember. It was a while. It was a while ago. Yeah, that was when I first started coming to Watch Me Work, mm -hmm. which was probably about ten, eleven years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And your your yeah your your son was, who's now about to be a senior and. High school how old was he oh my gosh he was he was how old is he now he's 17. Mm -hmm. i think he was like six six so or he, seven. Oh, his voice was probably something like this right yes he doesn't sound the same i'm guessing no same person though right yeah so oh. this is yeah i know <laughs> I led you. You're so good. You're so kind to me. You just let me lead you. Right into that. You know what I'm saying, right? Same yeah. character, different voice. He sounds different, you know, different things, you know, and characters grow too, even though they're like, you say set in cement, they're not, they, they only look like that when we're looking at them, you know, it's just so we don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually like, uh -huh. you know, waiting for the next, actor you know if it's a play to to inhabit them uh or 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 you know it's like it's like hamlet isn't set in stone they're moving all around who's playing hamlet you know um the same with zeph and violet the same with you know or if it's a novel they're waiting for the next reader to pick it up because it has to go through you or the reader right mm -hmm. so so if you're hearing them differently and you too, you too are different, you know, right. Your ears are different. Your, your soul is different. Your spirit is different. And that's not a bad thing. That doesn't mean you're on the wrong track. It just means you're hearing it differently. Um, and things are going to land differently and feel differently. And as you know, my sister, a play is not a movie. And so it's going to, it's going to, the humor is going to be different. It's, it's a different form. It's a different art form. I mean, it, it should, I think it should feel different. Otherwise, why make it, into, why write a screenplay if it's just going to be the same old thing, you know? Oh. I mean, I think it, 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 yeah. it out of respect for the different form, for the different medium, you, you should take a step into that. A step, a step into. Into that. the, the fact that you're going to be telling it through like, camera angles and close-ups and you know flow like pans across landscapes I mean I have no idea I'm just making shit up you know do you know right you know what I mean it's not all dependent on the beautiful language and the set I think you said it was three acts and had three different you know it doesn't it, has, it doesn't have to be structured like that you can structure it like that I'm not saying you have to change it but I always think out of respect for what 
the medium, you know, it, it needs to grow. Like your son, like your daughter. And how, I mean, if she was like, mom, I'm just gonna stay here with my little girl voice and like wear this princess dress forever. <laughs> like, girl, you need to grow up. I mean, you know, you'd say it more beautifully than that. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, right? I mean, your characters are like, hey, we're growing, we're changing. They're like, yay. And so I guess just go with the flow of the change and the evolution of that. Yeah, because they're still yours. They're still you. They still love you. They still show up for you. They'll, they'll still come home for the holidays. <laughs> they'll right. still have money. Your characters are still going to ask you for money. Chris, come on, help. <laughs> this thing. You know what I'm saying? They're going to always be asking you for like, you know, and when it gets made into a film and you do a talk back or, a, you know, or, you know, people are still going to ask for your, but they're always going to be like leaning on you a little bit. That's okay. Okay. You know? Okay. Okay. I can, I can work with that. Yeah. And have <laughs> fun. Have fun. Look, it's a kitchen. Did you have a kitchen scene in the, in the original play? Mm-mm. Yeah, well, yay! Kitchen scene, hooray! No, well, because the whole premise was like it being out in one one setting, one room, the whole play in one room. It could have been a kitchen. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, I didn't know. Oh. But yeah, so now you're changing it up, right? Yeah, cool. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yay! Thank you. Now you can have fun. That's the idea. Just let's just make it fun. Fine, writing let's that down laugh too. A lot. It's not that we're, you know, denying the reality of the 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 task at hand. Let's just have, you know, let's just embrace our power and our joy. Yeah. Cool. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> Hi, Tracy, did you have a question? If not, I'm going to mute you because I believe Carol has a question. Is that correct, Carol? If you have a question, feel free to unmute yourself, Carol. You got it. We believe in you. It's so close. Yes. Yeah, Carol. Yeah, Carol. Hi. It's so good it's to great. see you. It's great to see you. Everybody, Carol's like an OG. Carol used to come and hang out in the lobby. But hang out in the lobby. It's great to right. see you all these years on Zoom too. It's wonderful to see you. All right. Um, I guess my question is um I'm not getting as many new ideas to write about. Uh, and I don't want to write the same, you know, things that are like the same, the same thing. So I'm just not writing as much. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that I can't. I know I can if I sit down and just do it. Right. Uh, but it's a different. It's a difference now that I'm much older. I think that has something to do with it as well. There's so much more material that it has to go through to j just even get out. Huh. Huh. There's so much more material. There's so much more like so, so much lot more life. <laughs> right, right. So it has to it comes from like back there. Yeah. Right. Oh. And uh, so I'm I'm I used to have everyone, you know, like around me, the kids and the grandkids and everyone. So it was immediate and I could see what was going on. So I'm I'm not as motivated i guess that's the way to, mm -hmm. what i'm thinking of to, to do it but i i do i still write every day something 
Yeah, mostly, me. mostly it comes in poetry, very short poems. That's beautiful. You were writing songs for a while. You've written novels, yeah. You've written lots and lots and lots of stuff. I mean, she's really like totally OG here. Um, <laughs> but I mean, you don't feel, I mean, the thing about you, you, you wonder, like, I, I don't want to repeat myself. Is exactly. that exactly? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Girl, let me tell you. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Hollywood? <laughs> yes. MCU, the Marvel Universe. Girl, they repeating themselves. They do a sequel on a this and that and stop. I mean, you, you're, al yeah. you're allowed to repeat yourself because right. you're allowed to, you know what? I'm going to retell but, that story. You know what? I'd like to make a prequel of the sequel of the whatever. You know what I'm saying? You, you have, I love you, yeah, the you've got a multiverse in you, girlfriend. Go ahead. Write the story about the friend in the last book you wrote who didn't get her own story. Uh -huh. like a spinoff of the spinoff. All those worlds you've been building for all these years, uh -huh. your novels and your short stories, you write, you've written books also for, for kids or for uh, young Ian. adults, you know, right, teens, exactly. Mm -hmm. All those people, you have worlds that you've created. You can mm -hmm. pick any, you can just like close your eyes a point in one of your books. And that'll be a character <laughs> that's waiting for you to, she's like, I've been waiting for my own story. Well, she might not talk about that, but she might. She might, she might finally, Carol, you're going to write right. a story. You've got so many characters waiting for you. Oh, that is so helpful. It's just oh, for it's, you. It's so true, girl. <laughs> right. And, and you, you don't, I mean, while maybe you, you the, the reasons why you're writing might change or the mm -hmm. environment, you know, around you again might change. We're going through changes. You know, people are going to school, kids are right. moving to college, whatever, you know. And are there how about, about great grandkids? Yes, I know. And how are <laughs> your great grandkids? I know it's amazing. I can't believe it. They're how are, they're all far away. They're, they're all my, my Zoom children. But that's fantastic though. <laughs> and you know, Durham is now, you know, taller than me. So yeah, I I I I'll, I'll bring him on one day when he uh, Oh, I'd love to see him. He's huge. You look um, you look great. It's so good to see you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> This Zoom thing is is love Zoom. We don't have to listen to the people making yeah. lobby. Yeah. <laughs> but just know that while the 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 um your the situation around you changes, might change, uh -huh. or it's like the seasons, whatever. But you're still you. You know, you're True. still you have all those characters who have been with you for years, mm -hmm. and they're just waiting for to be one of the main characters. Okay, good right. idea. Yes, <laughs> and and ask more questions. Talk to us more. I see you always on week to week, but you never say anything. So, oh yeah, I don't know. Usually, I haven't had anything to, of importance to say. Well, check in and tell us how you're doing next time. We I, yeah, no, I'm doing. I'm doing great. Um, not great. You look great. Ha ha happily married. Still, that's the most important you, thing to the same how, person. How many years? How, yeah, right. How many years? Because you guys have been married. You and Bill is your husband. Bill, sixty-three years. <laughs> I know. I said, Look at Crystal. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. So, know, right. And still, and we're still growing up. It was from, from high school till old age. Three. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, what can we? I know married. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased with that. So I, I have no complaint. I have, really have no complaints. I feel very, very lucky. We just, just hope for for good health. <laughs> and you have good health, and you will have good health. Yeah, so Clean. far so good. <laughs> and you look wonderful. It's just so good to see you and talk to you. Oh my gosh! Likewise. Uh, and you and the program is so it's a, just a wonderful just just to connect again i'm so glad you're still doing it oh yeah oh yeah it's great and i really appreciate how the public theater and how round have been supporting us all these years where you know isn't that great and made it possible that we could just continue and all the new people we meet um and uh we're all you know helping each other which is so cool so I, and are you doing stuff in person there mm -hmm. there or no yeah it's much better to do this safer <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Carol. I love you. <laughs> Take care and all the best. You too. You too. To all you. of you out there. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. We have time for one more question if anyone has 
a question they are eager to share before six o'clock. Timothy, thank you. Feel free to unmute yourself. Thanks. Um, I don't have a question per se, but I was badly blocked the other day and I found a quote from you, SLP, from a year ago from this thing, um, which if it's okay, I thought I would read back because it was really helpful. Sure, no, I, if I said, yeah. I said that. I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Timothy. Sure. Um, if you write a shitty draft, you are giving yourself the chance to make it better. If you never write the draft, you never have the chance. Take the chance, make the choice, do the work. Yeah. See, I love hearing that because that can help me today. Yeah, right, right. Thank you, Timothy. Take the chance. Do the it's work. A great quote, man. It's, it, it 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 helps a lot. And and how is your how is your process today? I'm doing all right. Yeah. I'm doing all right. Yeah. I found a thing. Um uh like a it's like a it was a, it's basically a to-do list program, but cool. they have a, a writing app in it. And it tells you to write, it puts on your to-do list every day to write 750 words. And, cool. and so I've been doing that now, you know, they're not all good words. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're not all super relevant words, but it does get me typing every day. So, um, so that's worked out pretty well. So, you know, good. things are, things are moving forward. That's really good. With a little help from my friends. I love that. I love that. Yeah. It feels like you're embracing what I call the practice of practice. You know, we all have these ideas like it should feel like such and such or like, Carol, you've been married for 63 years. You know, some of us, you know, who haven't been married that long, we say, oh, love, marriage, thing. it should feel like this. And when it doesn't feel like this, then we think, uh oh, it must be wrong. Right. We got to change up. And I think, Timothy, what you're realizing is you're embracing the practice of the practice. This is how it feels, you know? Sometimes yeah. it feels great. Sometimes you're inspired. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're not inspired. And sometimes I found like you have to shovel through 500 words of crap to finally, oh, and then you suddenly right. hit like, right. you know, right. but you really don't feel like doing the, 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 the first part, yeah. but you fight your way through it. And then all of a sudden, like something hits you. Right. So it's weird. I, I, I mean, you know, we ask ourselves, why can't it just be like, just get to the Holy Grail like every day you wake up, there it is, you know? Um, and and who knows? I, I, yeah. I think because there's something about the work that is significant in its own right. Yeah, I found that. Yeah, you're demonstrating your devotion. Yeah, it kind of, it's like you're showing the work. It's, a, it's important to you. And then therefore it'll it'll show up for you right 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 so. it's, it's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing that's mm -hmm. that's really great i mean I, I always think like we have to want what, what we want enough to do the work to get it you know you know some yeah. of us many of us say oh i want to be a this or i want to have a that but we're not willing or to do the work necessary to, to achieve that mm -hmm. wonder why we don't achieve it well we got to be willing to like you did, Timothy, write those 750 words every day. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know, come on and ask a question and say, what do I do now that I've written lots and lots and lots and I don't know what to do right now? Ask, right. A, do the work necessary to get what you want. Um, and, and that's that's part of being on the path, you know, definitely. So anyway, I thank you for that quote. Uh, <laughs> it reminded me of it. It's that. helped uh, it, it's helped me out of a few jams, so. Mm -hmm. mm, jam. <laughs> oh, jam. <laughs> yeah. You could go for some jam. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, or honey. Just honey. Mm. Some honey. Mm. Be kind to yourselves, people. We we who, who, who work hard and show up for ourselves and others and our neighbors and our kids and, you know, you know, be kind to yourselves. It's something sometimes we forget that we got to do things, you know. So.
but I just you all showing up here, it's just an opportunity for us to remind ourselves how wonderful we are and how much we have to offer and how the world needs us so much, you know, really, really does. Um, and how we need each other, you know? So, anyway. Do we have, we don't have Watchmen work next week because it's Labor Day. Is it Labor Day next week? It is Labor Day next week. So I wish everyone in this room a day of rest, <laughs> some time away from labor. And we do come back on the following Monday, September 9th. Fantastic. Yay, I'm going to ring this bell again because it's just fun. My grandmother, who is from Texas, mm -hmm. ring that bell, and her uh, students would come running in from recess or whatever back in the days, a long time ago. Anyway, we love you all, and uh, have a great couple of weeks. And we'll see you back here. Oh, so much love to everyone. Bye. Bye.